coming up in today's vlog on the Trenton Mersey Canal. There's more history than you can shake a stick at. You can see what remains of the Derby Canal. Because of disuse and neglect, the Derby Canal was not nationalised. As you'd expect, there's a local group who have long campaigned for the canal to be restored. One of the exciting developments of the restoration is what they're calling the Derby Arm Boat Lift. We get into a mini flotilla with some fellow boaters. Got a little bit of a convoy going this morning. In front of us is Adam, Lauren and Shanty. And then behind us, we've got Derek and Pauline on Silver Fox, an narrow boat you may know. And behind them is Wayne and Amanda and Nix on narrow boat Spudley. And Jan does strange things with chipolatas. Yeah, I am cooking, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're, sorry, was that a sneaky, sneaky drink you have there, dear? Yeah, I am cooking, aren't I? <laughs> oh. Cooking. Hello, and welcome to today's vlog. Hiya. <laughs> Jan's busy in the kitchen. As cooking, I am every cook, single night. Cooking up a storm. Yeah, well, I gave it up when we moved on the boat, didn't yeah. I? No, I'm not cooking up a storm. I'm just doing a simple sausage and mushroom ragu. Ooh, yeah. Sa sausage and mushroom ragu. <laughs> Ooh. Talking of food, <laughs> no, we're not going to another butcher's. We're not going on a pie hunt. No. No, but we did go to a couple of lovely places at Mercia Marina during Easter. Oh, that was lovely. Really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. In fact, one of them uh, has made it to marking new menus. So if you want to have a look Blimey. at that, I'll put a link down here and a link in the description. We haven't done any for about a year. I know, it cost too much. Oh. Yes. But this was a special treat. We had um, our daughter, Sean and our niece, Carla. And we basically tried all the eateries. It was our four four days holiday, yeah. wasn't it? We went Because we like Mercia. Yeah. And uh, so we went into the various eateries. And this was... It's called uh, the Boardwalk. Oh, that's it, the Boardwalk. It's called the Boardwalk. It's a big place. Pub downstairs, upstairs, restaurant. Yeah. Well, you can eat downstairs yeah. as well. But um, yeah, mainly restaurant upstairs. Uh, and that's where we start today's journey. We've been moored at Mercia Marina for the Easter break. Just a little holiday. We had family over. And we moored up for a few nights just outside the marina. Because there's plenty of moorings down there. But we were facing the wrong way. And the facilities are all back here. And there aren't any... There's some water points but there aren't any facilities to empty Elsan until we get to Shardlow and we want to stop at Swarkston and because we've been a few nights on the towpath outside Mercia so we can still enjoy all of the benefits of being in the marina but without paying <laughs> i.e. the shops restaurants and stuff like that and the cafe um, obviously the Elsan gets a bit full and you need to clean it now and again and empty it obviously. Now, I know we've got a spare but I only like to use that in times of dire emergency. Like for instance we're shut off from uh, part of a navigation because of works or ice something like that. So we turned round outside Mercy Marina and went up here to Willington where there's a little winding hole and a little service point excellent facilities lovely and clean so we winded there and now we're heading back and hopefully we can make Swarkston I think yes I'm pretty sure we can it's not that far we've just got one lock to go through which is Stenson lock which is quite a deep lock actually and it's the first if we come in this way because if you're heading towards the River Trent it's the first wide lock, but you can take your wide beam all the way up to Willington, turn around and go back again. That's why Stenton Lock is a wide lock. It's the first wide lock. And then just after that, a few bridges later, and we should get to Swarkston, where we're going to stay for a couple of nights.
Now the cooling towers that you can see are from the old power station that was decommissioned some years ago. But they've left the cooling towers up as a local landmark, if nothing else. They become quite a feature as we get onto the River Trent. Well, the first part of the River Trent where um, the other two rivers sort of converge. Coming up to Stenson Lock. Busy little area this is. There's a marina just before the lock. And there's lots of linear moorings, i.e. on the towpath and on the off towpath side. There's a nice little cafe at the side of the lock where you can sit, eat and gong goozle. Uh, Jan just told me the lock landing is free. Good, we'll need to just mosey on there. We're on our own, so single boat in a wide lock. Always fun and games, isn't it? Now there are usually lockies on here and being a weekend, as it's a Saturday today, you think they were here, but nope. Thankfully, the previous boater who left has left one gate open, which is all we need. You can see it's quite deep. Wipe you back here. Here we are in Swarkston. At the top of the lock you can see what remains of the Derby Canal. It was first advocated by James Brindley in 1771 as the transport system in the town was poor, the roads inadequate and the River Derwent was prone to flooding. Downstream traffic was also slowed by delays on the Trent. The canal was to be built as a broad canal capable of taking Trent barges, the locks being 90 foot long and 15 foot wide and the depth 5 foot. To reduce costs, the canal was to cross the Derwent in Derby on the level rather than an aqueduct. The Little Eaton line and tram road were completed by May 1795. The first coals were delivered to Derby four days later. Work on the Swarkston line started in June 1796 and the entire canal was finished one year later. Because of disuse and neglect, the Derby canal was not nationalised. The IWA led a protest cruise in 1961 to maintain the right to navigate 
but the canal company felled two trees across the lock, resulting in the last protest that IWA lost. Fast forward to 1993 when Paul Turner, a farmer in Breston, had the idea that if he restored the canal at the bottom of his farm, it would act as a moat. When he approached the local council, they said yes, on the understanding that the whole canal had to be restored. Luckily, back in 1964, when the bed was filled in, the council's concern decided that nothing would be built on the line where it still existed, just in case it was ever restored. Wow, far-thinking councils in those days. The line is protected in the various local plans and an outline planning application was made and permission has been granted. The canal will be vital to the Arrowwash as it will keep it open all year instead of having to close when the rivers flood. As you'd expect, there's a local group who have long campaigned for the canal to be restored and reopened. Called the Derby and San Diego Canal Trust, they exist through donations. I'll pop a link down below if you'd like to help them. The completed canal, pictured red in this map, will form a 25 mile cruising ring with 18 or 19 locks and will attract people to Derby. One of the exciting developments of the restoration is what they're calling the Derby Arm Boat Lift. It will take boats from the elevated section of the canal down to the River Derwent. Quite impressive. Good morning everybody. It's a bit of a overcast sort of day today, if I was to be weather forecasting for you. Got a little bit of a convoy going this morning. We're heading to Shardlow. All being well there's going to be some moorings there. And in front of us is Adam, Lauren and Shanti, fellow YouTube vloggers. Recently back from India, they were, or well, they have got a crowdfunder campaign for a small community out there. Go and have a look if you haven't already. And then behind us, here, we've got Derek and Pauline on Silver Fox, a narrowboat you may know. And behind them is Wayne and Amanda and Nix on narrowboat Spudley. And if you're heavy on social media, then you'll know Spudley. They're all off to Crick eventually. We just have to catch up with them. And thankfully the sun is coming out. Woohoo! Western Lock, it's a bit of a slow filler like a lot of more.
what's under the bridge, hopefully, is some moorings. Or we're knackered. We've got to get a mattress delivered. It's been repaired. Tomorrow. Well, we've had some help, haven't you, Jan? Yes. Only a little lot. We were able to find a mooring spot right in front of what is now known as the Clock Warehouse Pub. Back in the day, this would have been the home to two huge warehouses for storing all manner of goods that had been shipped here for passage onto other towns and cities around the country. Shardlow was an important late 18th century river port for the transshipment of goods to and from the River Trent to the Trent and Mersey Canal. During its heyday, from the 1770s to the 1840s, it became referred to as Rural Rotterdam and Little Liverpool. It's Britain's most complete surviving example of a canal village. Shardlow's impressive collection of warehouses and boat owners' houses, with the waterway as a backbone, give it a distinct character and a strong sense of place. There's a comprehensive heritage centre, staffed by volunteers, and includes all manner of artefacts, maps, newspaper articles, and even a model of what the back cabin of a working narrowboat would have been like. It's definitely worth a visit, and thankfully the rest of Shardlow retains its historic charm, even though some of the buildings have long since gone, there are still many warehouses, wharfs and boat builders here keeping the heritage alive. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Quite a bit of history we've had there. Oh, here's Jan's tea. What was it again? Sausage and mushroom ragu. That looks lovely, Jan. I'm going to enjoy that. Anyway, in the meantime, just like to say thank you very much, all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining the channel. Thank you. Yep. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up for a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and then when you have subscribed, press the bell icon. Ding! Thank you, Janet, and YouTube will let you know next time we upload a vlog. Thanks to all our supporters on Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. In the meantime, stay safe, happy eating, happy drinking, happy cruising. Bye for now. Bye.